Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jay Bear Tactical coming to you again, sitting down on the Freedom Bench. So what do we got going on today? Well, we got sitting right here is that 6.5 Creedmoor uh, bolt carrier group uh, made by Toolcraft with their diamond-like coating, diamond-like carbon coating finish. So I'm going to give you a quick look, go over some of the materials that are in it and whatnot. I don't want to draw this out, okay? You know, bolt carrier groups for me, uh, it, it's pretty simple. When I started building ARs, or when I got my very first one, it came with a simple uh, phosphate finished bolt carrier group. Okay, it's mil spec, you know, it's been six, seven years, whatever it's been. Uh, yeah, that was, you know, that was what was the norm. I've progressively graduated uh, finishes on my bolt carrier groups. Uh, normally, my go-to bolt carrier group is going to be a nickel boron. Uh, when I saw this finish offered for the 6.5 Creedmoor uh, bolt carrier group, built the, the way I wanted it or you know designed the way I wanted it uh, with the double ejector and it's got the smaller uh, firing pin I had to have it okay and I bought this um, on the 4th of July sale 2019 and I believe I paid I, I want to say it was $159 on sale couldn't go wrong. It's normally like 239 bucks. It was a steal. I had to have it, and it is what it is. So it is now almost, let's see, it's February, uh, what's the date today? 12th, 13th, something like that. Um, anyway, I'm going to give you a, a, another view, tabletop, you, you know, another angle, camera angle of this. I'll take it apart, go over it, tell you what I think. So stay tuned, hang in there, and I'll be right back. Thanks. All right, guys, let's get into this. So first and foremost, I am extremely impressed with the quality of the finish work on this bolt carrier group. There is not a tool mark to be found. It's that clean. Um... Now, with the diamond-like coating on this bull carrier group, I'm going to guess that, that if, if there was some sort of tooling marks, is going to cover it up, but I don't see any at all. Okay, and there's a look at the double ejectors, okay? Give you a close-up view. I'm gonna bring it up close and let you see the staking. The staking on this is really, really good. Uh, I've seen a lot worse. This is a tool craft. It should be exceptional in my book. The great thing about this, the company that I bought this through, uh, Arm or Ally, uh, they're a, an exclusive, not exclusive, but they're a big, uh, this is one of their bigger products. If you buy through them directly, um, Toolcraft honors their, this 100% guaranteed, no questions asked, period. There is no questions asked. It's just get a hold of Toolcraft, let them know you purchased it through them, you send it to them, they're going to send you a new one. No questions asked. Okay, brilliant. Um, so let's take this apart. I just want to show you what this looks like. Um, and doing this... So we've got the standard cotter key, okay, and a 
drop that firing pin. So this firing pin, reduce size, okay? I put my micrometers on this, I'll grab them real quick, and I'm just going to show you. Um, that way you can see it for yourself, okay? We have zero on the micrometer, okay? Reduce firing pin 0 0.063, okay? And then and we're going to re-zero the calipers. Just, oops, turn them off. Yeah, let's do that one more time. Just so you can see it. 0 0.063, okay, on the calipers. Um, your average firing pin is, uh, I think, 70 thousandths. So, there's the firing pin. Stainless steel firing pin, this is... Uh, what is this? Four, 416 stainless steel is the material for the firing pin. Okay, now this thing has not been uh, taken apart and lubed up yet, so it may be a little tricky to get this cam pin out. For me, they always seem to be a little difficult uh, in the beginning. Slides right out. Okay, so there's the cam pin. You know, standard, standard cam pin. Um, this cam pin is 8620 steel. Okay, we're gonna pull the bolt out. We're gonna look. We're gonna look at the carrier. Okay, so the carrier is made out of 8620 steel. It's a uh, DPMS compatible. This is the full auto style. The gas key, the gas key material is going to be uh, 4130 steel, and they obviously use grade eight gas key screws with the proper staking. Hopefully that's focusing. Okay. Just you guys, my fingerprints keep showing up on this thing. It's it's just but it's beautiful. It's it's just 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 beautiful. I, I cannot get over how nice that finish is. So let's take apart pop that extractor out. Take that pin out. Okay. We're gonna take that off and I'll show you a close up look. Hopefully that's in focus. Okay, so there's the the bolt itself. So the bolt material is 9310 steel shot peen. So this is stress relieved. Okay, the extractor material is uh, 4140 steel. Okay. There's the end. Extractor. There's that. That's basically it. Okay. Um, even on the inside of this bolt, with it being coated, and there's a little bit of lube in here. Okay, and I'll clean this up and re-lubricate it. Uh, there is no tooling marks, so you're going to have your standard uh, three-ring gas system here. Um, you know, the, there's not a whole lot more to say other than this thing looks freaking awesome, and I can't wait to shoot with. I can't wait to use this. It's just going to be freaking an awesome freaking uh, bolt carrier group. So let's put this back together.
and I always like to make sure that there's an equal amount on that pin. Okay, so we've got that. Stick that back in there like so. Put that cam pin back in there. We will drop the firing pin back in there. And I'm using a couple of pieces of paper just to, to, to bring out the contrast of the uh, of this finish. Um, so if, if anybody's wondering, put that all back together. Give this thing a quick little wipe down. I'll give you a last look. Do, 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 do. Okay. And that's it. This thing is a dandy. It's a beautiful. Love this finish. Love it. Can't wait to uh, can't wait to shoot it. So one of the great things about this um, diamond-like carbon coating, okay, is it's one of the toughest, slickest, most sought-after coatings on the market today. When I saw that, when I read that, um, the 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 lubricity I don't know if I'm saying that correct how slick this is this is slicker than freaking nickel boron okay and that's pretty much all I have in all of my ARs is, this, is nickel boron bulk carrier groups uh, finished in nickel boron um, this coating is rated at I believe it's uh, 90 rock on uh, 90 on the Rockwell scale that's hard is that's hard as pretty much any material out there you're not going to get much harder so I, I just like I said really looking forward to seeing how well this thing performs anyway guys I just wanted to give you a quick look at this um, that's all I got for you today mash that thumbs up button I truly appreciate it when you guys do that that way I know you're you like the content that I'm providing for the channel uh, and, and you know people are watching people are viewing it um, if this is your first time here please consider subscribing to the channel that's really appreciated uh, for me okay I say thank you to all the all of my subscribers all of my subscribers everybody that subscribed to my channel I truly appreciate it we don't do this uh, I don't do this with any assistance from anybody okay this is all out of my own pocket okay I have no sponsors I have no help no affiliations with anybody okay I do have a patreon account and I do have a PayPal account if you're you know interested go to the about part of my YouTube page and consider it I'm not asking if you do you do if you don't I'm okay with that I always have been it's not about that. It's just about sharing what I have with you guys. And that's what it's all about. So I truly appreciate you guys stopping by. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day, wonderful evening, whatever time of day you're in. Enjoy it. Live life to the fullest. Like I always tell you guys, this is Jerry Bear Tactical, and I hope to see you out there on that firing line.